Anfa and you're watching a little update. <clears throat> I haven't released a video in a while and you might be wondering what the heck are you doing man? <laughs> Alright, I'll get to that in a minute. First off, I want to thank everyone who's supporting me on Patreon and everyone who's buying my music on Bandcamp because that is amazing and you know knowing that people value what I do so much that they want to drop their hard-earned cash my way uh, well it's a testament that I'm creating a value here and that's great you know I thought so I, this is what I want but I need to have this confirmation from people to know that it's really true because it might not be not I might be mistaken anyway it is true and the support is growing and I want to thank you all for that and now what am I doing I am finishing right now the video from Sonoy 2017, which I captured in November oh. on this first initial Sonoy convention in Köln, Germany. And that is gonna be like an hour and 45 minute video, probably, uh, with lots of stuff. Oh crap, I should have let him through, sorry. And yeah, I started editing that video in Blender, but uh, as it grew, as it grew bigger and bigger, uh, I figured out it, that continuing to edit in Blender is just a pain in the butt. And I'm fixing one thing, and I'm breaking the other things. So I rendered it out, and I'm editing it now in Kden Live, fixing video audio sync. recording new footage to fill in the gaps, uh, so cutting out some stuff that is a bit of a boring. <laughs> well, there's, there's a lot of stuff that you might consider boring. However, I decided to left it in because this video is kind of a kind of a postcard from the past and it is a little bit my personal diary of memories from that event. Also, it is a little bit of a testament how does it feel to be in the community how does it feel to meet the people who create the open source software for music production in person and how it is to hang out together. So I wanted to leave that in just for this testament. So yeah, it's gonna be a long video. I have recorded, I have, I have made a totally pointless but funny VFX scene in that video. I'm not gonna say what it is, but it's totally ridiculous and I think you're gonna just burst into laughter when you see that. Uh, it's somewhere in the middle of the boring stuff, so that's something for you to... Uh, <laughs> that's a beacon for you to watch the whole thing, <laughs> it's because the scene is one second long, but I think it's... I mean, I don't know, I, I think it's totally awesome. I also asked Luigi to record some extra vocal line for, for the punch line for this. And I think it worked out very nice. Uh, I think that it just needed to have some fun with this because it is quite a big, long-winded project doing this movie. Actually, it's a documental movie. And yeah, it, it, can, it's, it is a bit tedious at times to edit this through, but you know, Having some fun with VFX is great. I wanted to do this for a while when I learned Natron and Blender and I wanted to just, you know, put all of that together and try what can I do. So that's that. I also have a pending Anfa vlog video, 22nd, where I make a track from scratch because I've seen that the track from scratch video where I record uh, guitars and synths in Ardor has a lot of views and I've seen that I made some mistakes in my video for example I didn't show the final result up until like the third minute of the video there's a very long intro that doesn't say anything and I guess a lot of people are just whatever man and they go somewhere else and I figured if I put the final result of the video the final track before, a lot of people could be hooked to see how it happened, because it is a value there, but I just don't advertise it soon enough, I guess, and a lot of people just, you know, 
I'm not sure why this video is so popular. Maybe because of the cover with the guitar. I don't know. Gotta figure out. The next track, this video is without a guitar. It's just Zenith Sub Effects synthesizing a little kind of down tempo track. My girl really likes it and she wants me to edit this video because she wants to see how I made this. Uh, I posted a track on Facebook in a video and wrote that making off video is coming soon. So that's that. I haven't yet started editing this because I wanted to put all my effort into finishing the summary video as soon as possible and I reached out to my Patreons and my collaborators and people who helped me out on Discord uh, to give me some feedback and they gave me feedback and they had pointed to me things that are broken and need to be fixed and I fixed them and I, I'm really have thankful for that. And this is also something I wanted to like create a community of people who I now care about what I do because they've proven it with their financial support by either becoming Patreons or buying my music. Um, and if you do so well, I know you care. And I know I can throw some work in progress stuff your way and you will you might want to give me some feedback or enjoy it as a you know kind of a backstage footage because it's not yet released so it yeah it's, it's kind of a premium thing for for the hardcore fans <laughs> I would say people who yeah want to watch that stuff I know not everyone will want to watch it people who just want to learn well yeah so that, these are two things on my plate right now but there is this third big thing on my plate right now that I haven't told you about yet. I've been writing about this on Facebook and Mastodon, I think, somewhere. The big thing is I am preparing a new video series dedicated to teaching Ardor from the ground up. And I'm... Because Unfavlog is a rather chaotic video series, I wanted to make this Ardor thing structured and well planned through because before I was doing minimal or no planning at all and I think that doesn't work very well because there is lots of useful information but it's so scattered around and so hard to find if you are looking for it that not many people are gonna use it I guess like if you're watching my alpha vlog videos you can learn a lot but you never know what you will learn because I just throw stuff all the way all around all over the map and the title of the video doesn't really give away everything even the description everything that you will learn and you know it's a hit or miss you might learn something that you didn't know or you might learn something that you knew already so I figured making shorter videos that stick closer to the title and the main theme and don't strive around and making more videos but are, that are focused and are searchable it's gonna be better because you will be able to find what you're looking for and not just blindly watch all my stuff for hours and hours trying to find useful information in there. And I think it, it, it is a little bit like that right now and I don't want it because I, I think I can do better. So with the Ardor Guide, I'm going to call this Ardor Guide, the videos are gonna be all scripted and I'm currently scripting it and I'm planning uh, all the episodes through before I record anything so I will know exactly what I want to do before I record anything, which is gonna hopefully result in a much more coherent uh, video series that will, you know, be totally, be much more watchable for non, for people who don't actually have, you know, heaps of time to just watch random dude talk about random things, teaching random stuff, and who would like to watch, like, you know, an hour worth of video and be able to actually sit down and re record their first uh, song in Ardor and mix it, you know, kind of like that. So I'm figuring, I'm partnering with ideas, I'm writing a lot of scripts, uh, improving on them all the time and I'm, yeah, it's a lot of planning to be done. So the results will probably not be visible for a long time still because there's a lot of pre-production to be done before I can record anything to make this actually worth, you know. So yeah, I want to step up my game with Ardor Guide and hopefully you will learn a lot.
in a structured and clean way, not in a chaotic one. So that's the update. Um, once again, thanks everyone for support and I will see you in the next videos. Bye! This is the first video I record in a car while driving. It feels kind of funky. I used some rubber bands to hold my phone in place because I have no holder for it that would suffice. So it looks kind of funny from this side, but you're not seeing it. I guess it's gonna look okay on your side. Well, anyway, that's it for now. Bye!